Hey, Ron Rubio, I'm teaching uh, AP U.S. History this semester, AP Gov this semester. I also teach Civil War in America and Ethnic and Cultural Diversity in America. And next year we're going to author a new class called America in the 60s. It should be fun, so open the kids sign up for that. Went to St. Mary's College, graduated in 78 a long time ago. Got my master's degree from uh, SF State in about 85, 86. And I've been at Dublin for about 10, 11 years. Uh, I've always just uh, enjoyed history. I've always liked military history. When I was a little kid, I was always playing with my army men and uh, watching war movies with John Wayne and, and reading, you know, uh, westerns and war books. And, and that's what got me, I think, primarily interested in when I was a little guy. And then the more you study and you read about history, it seems like there's just, there's more to study and read. And so you just become more and more interested because you're learning more and, and you realize, geez, I thought I knew something about this. And then the more you read about it, the more you realize you didn't. And it's just, I just find it very fascinating. It's like a good movie. You know, history is just like a good movie. It's just like a good story. And I've just always had an interest in it. And it's a, it's a real pleasure to teach. I characterize it in the, the handout I give the kids is the, the Bugs Bunny cartoon where he's skiing down the hill and he, he starts tumbling and as he goes down the hill he becomes a bigger and bigger snowball going faster and faster then bang he hits the tree. And I kind of joke with the kids that's what an AP history class is like. You gotta go fast. It's, I tell them it's not for sissies. It's a college level class with a college level book. So it's quite a, an experience and a challenge for them. Well, in uh, AP U.S. history, we tend to do uh, our oral histories, our, our interview, our uh, guest speakers, they come in uh, the back end of the class, usually have to take the AP exam, usually. And uh, they're primarily uh, uh, war veterans. We've had a, we have a Pearl Harbor survivor that comes in every year for the last several years. Great guy. Kids love him. He's about 90-something years old, and the kids just love him to death. And uh, we've had a couple of Vietnam veterans come in. We also have a, a Dust Bowl a veteran come in, a gentleman that came over, uh, like Tom Joad in the Grapes of Wrath. He came over with his family when he was just a little guy. And uh, he went on to be one of the first teachers here at Dublin High, as a matter of fact, and an administrator here. So he's got quite a story to tell. He, he likes to tell the kids that he's the American dream. And so it's, just, it's very dramatic for the kids when they, they sit down and hear somebody and, and see somebody that lived it and dealt with it. There's a clarity to it and an honesty to it that you, know, you just can't really get in the books or from me or from a video or a documentary. Well, when you talk about just being an educated person, history is about humanity. And we're all humans and we're all part of the human family. And everything that's happened in history relates to every one of us. And so technology has its place and science has his place, but as human beings, there's really nothing more important than our story. And no matter what you do with your life, professionally or technologically, we're still all humans. We all still have to live on this earth. We have to interact and deal with each other. And history gives you a perspective and an understanding of people that I don't think any other subject does. Ask them questions about class. Ask them what was talked about in class. You know, what did they talk about today? What did they read about in their book? Did they find anything interesting? Was there a good story they heard? Was there an interesting person that they heard about? And just carry on a conversation with your kid just about the subject matter, I think, would be a real good thing to do. Obviously, check the homework and make sure they're studying and all that. But just to have a conversation with them about what's going on and what's happening, I think, would be a great thing for them to do.